talk about one of our field week games, indoor, homemade indoor bowling. Some supplies that you will need is a sock ball, take a couple pairs of socks and roll them up into a ball, or a foam or rubber ball, if you have one of those at home. Tape and scissors, make sure you ask a grown up at home before you cut anything. Five water bottles, and I left a little bit of water in the bottom, just to add a little bit of weight. This is gonna be my bowling pin. And I'm gonna to wanna to keep score, so I need a whiteboard and a dry erase marker. I'm going to use some tape for the floor to mark out where my bowling pins are. There's gonna be three in the back on my little pieces of tape and two in the front. And then I use the heel toe measure to measure 10 steps to three, four, all the way to 10 to my bowling line where I'm going to bowl from. So I'm gonna get one minute to try and knock over as many bowling pins as I can in one minute. The score pad will be there. Here's my ball, here's my starting line. A couple helpful pointers is I wanna put the bowling ball in that hand that I color with, my favorite hand. I'm gonna bend my knees, I'm gonna take a little step towards the bowling pins, and once I roll the ball, I'm gonna follow through towards the water bottles which are serving as my bowling pins. So let's see how Mr. Helsky does. Go and retrieve my ball, come back, set up my pin, and for that roll, I get a one. So I'm gonna put my tally mark up on the board for a one. Here's my second turn. Reset my pins and give myself another tally. That time is much better. One, two, three tally marks. I miss and that's okay, just hurry up and get your ball. And my total score for today is a six. And I'm gonna put that in the Google form so that Ms. Uhelski, Mr. Potter, and Mr. Harrison know how I did. Have fun.